Kimberly Houck with Rumor Fix at Sundance. Take a listen as I caught up with all the stars of the Stanford Prison Experiment on the red carpet right before their big movie premiere. True stories are so fun when they hit the big screen. What drew you to this one? Well, actually, you know, um, I got the script and I, you know, was told that they were interested in having me work on this project. And I really didn't know about the Stanford Prison Experiment before this. And I just thought, like, okay, let me go look it up. And I looked it up and I saw the research. And it was, you know, really gritty, really compelling, and um, something that just was, you know, very interesting. And I, I kind of labored over it because I, I just, you know, I didn't really know, um, you know, it's kind of a very um, ambitious piece. But um, I just thought the right people were involved. And um, you know, the character that I play, his name in the movie is Paul Vogel, but he's actually based on a real life character, a real life person named Dr. W. Curtis Banks. And he was actually the first African American psychology um, student to be tenured at Princeton, uh, get his PhD there, rather, and then be tenured at, at um, he, I'm sorry, he got tenured at um, Princeton, but he got his PhD, the first African American to get his PhD in psychology at Stanford. So there was a little bit of history there that I wanted to unpack. Um, it's such a privilege to be able to sort of speak to these stories that are almost um, lost or under-celebrated. And just to have the opportunity to tell a portion of a story was something that intrigued me and so glad I had the opportunity. Why were you drawn to this role? Well, I studied it in college, this, this experiment. And so when I studied it, I thought it was crazy. I thought it was so cool. And to get a chance to be involved in a project like this, you know, it's kind of I've kind of come full circle. So it's, it's been cool. Oh, this was so awesome. Um, there was like it's a huge cast, 25 people. Um, and each one, I think in 10 years, you're going to be looking back at this film like, how did they get all of these people? It's, it's going to be really great, Rosetta Stone, to look back and be like, oh, this is where this person, it's a language of its own. What did you learn about the experiment? Because truly, it's a true story. You're acting out a true story. So what did you take away from it? The most incredible thing for me was just because we all play real people, The was researching the real uh, Tom, the real prisoner 2093. And such an incredible, incredible, interesting human being with a story. Homeless, lived out of his car, uh, was to pay his way through college. Uh, he was the loner in, 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 and an outcast of all the prisoners. No, nobody really liked him because he was so obedient, which annoyed the guards, so no, none of the guards liked him. And the prisoners didn't like that because they wanted to be disobedient, they wanted to be a riot, and he never took part of it. So there's this interesting arc in the movie for my character because no one really likes him at first and you're not sure who he is and you really get these pieces of him as the movie goes and at the end it all comes to a climax. It's really, really incredible. What do you boys think about being in this movie? There's so many of you in it. Oh my god. It's a, it's quite a quite a sausage fest yeah, cast around sure, here. Yeah, it's fun. But we it's, love uh, it. Yeah, I mean, 25 I think... guys, one girl, two girls. Two girls in the Were you the one that came in making the big splash at the door? Of course. Of course. My mom always said make an entrance. MTV taught you well. That's right. That's right. MTV has taught us everything we know. MTV, not me. No? You don't watch MTV? He watches Awkward, for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. I do. Help me out, man. What's it like to be a part of this fun cast of all you boys around the same age? It's fantastic because we're all rowdy and we're all immature yet mature enough to be professional at the same time. So we're on set having fun making a movie, but also uh, just... Ruining, ruining takes, uh, ruining each other's takes as well, and throwing things at each other. It's extraordinary. Well, I could tell because some of you made quite the splash on the red carpet, ruining pictures for other cast members. That's how it's got to be. I mean, there's enough bloody pictures of everyone on this carpet. You go on the internet, type the name in, type my name in. There's hundreds of thousands, so we don't need it. We need I can tell you guys have a lot of fun. This is a big reunion for you. It is. It's fantastic because I, I mean, a lot of us haven't seen each other for. A, however long it's been since the shoot. It hasn't been that long, but it's long enough to make it good. Can you bust a rumor for us? We understand that you don't choose big Hollywood blockbuster parts because you like to sink your teeth into grittier, more hardcore type parts. That is totally right. No, it, I, I, listen, I have been so lucky with uh, the roles that I've gotten. I will take them wherever they come. Um, if anybody in a big Hollywood studio wants to offer me a part right now, I'm ready. But you're known as the actor that shows his range, and you do that by the roles that you select. Well, the truth is, when you get offered uh, like a wide variety of roles as an actor, you have an appetite to experience different things. So, you know, I mean, I went to, to acting school with guys who don't even, they can't work anymore. They can't actually get jobs, you know, great actors, fantastic. So when I'm given the opportunity to play a good role, it doesn't matter to me whether it's in a play or a movie or a low budget movie or a big budget movie. For me, it's just all about finding a great role that'll allow me to exercise my 
capabilities and challenge me. And just real quick, lastly, do you owe a big thank you to Brad Pitt for passing on Almost Famous? I owe Brad Pitt a big thank you just for being alive. <laughs> I think we all do. And for more out here at Sundance, just join us online at rumorfix.com.